Today, Florida came close to reaching another record for new daily coronavirus cases. In the last 24 hours, more than 11,000 new cases were added, bringing the total to more than 244,000 cases statewide. And 93 new deaths were reported. Here in Duval County, 744 new cases were added. Jacksonville's total is now 11,772 cases and 74 people have died from the virus. Alachua County has the next highest number of new cases in Northeast Florida with nearly 2,000 new cases and 12 deaths. Now that more people in Duval County are being tested for the coronavirus, the Duval County Health Department says more testing has led to confusion about when to start self-quarantine. And this confusion can lead to the further spread of the virus. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avignet joining us live to explain the confusion. And Eric, what health officials say people should do to avoid affecting, infecting others? Yes, well, it's worth noting that when COVID testing first began, there was no confusion over when to self-isolate because the tests were only being performed on people who had COVID-19 symptoms. But now that everyone is getting tested across the board, uh, self-isolation start times can vary. When it comes to COVID-19 testing, the Duval County Health Department says there are two types of people being tested. Folks who have symptoms of the virus who need to quarantine at home until they get their test results confirming they're infected and folks who think they have been exposed but are not experiencing symptoms. Tawanda Washington is the Assistant Director of Nursing for the Duval County Health Department. She says people with COVID symptoms should start their 14-day quarantine the moment they notice the symptoms. But folks without symptoms who believe they may have come in contact with an infected person should start their quarantine the day they take their test. That would be optimal to be able to quarantine yourself until you get your results back because like I said, you're, if you're positive, your return to normal activities would be at least 10 days from the date of your test. Not the date of your result, but the date of your test. But because those people without symptoms can't always get time off from work until their test results come back, Washington says it's still their responsibility to take precautions. Wear a face mask at all times, social distance. Washington also says that if you have been around someone who was infected and decided to immediately get tested, there is a good chance the results will come back negative because the virus needs to be in your body for several days before it can be detected. And it takes several days before symptoms are noticeable. Now, the health department says another emerging problem they're seeing here in Duval County is getting their message out to the Hispanic community. Now, they say it's not an issue with uh, language. There's no language barrier there. However, uh, they say that um, the problem is they the problem is you have some individuals or people here in Duval County who may be undocumented immigrants and those are the ones that are most likely that won't get tested and they just want to assure those folks that uh, you're not going to be singled out and you're not going to be reported to immigration. So they wanted to get that message out as well. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.